Yes. Yes. First, um, I, I would like to thank the Supreme Court for its decision. Uh, it brings to an end a process, a very long and protracted legal process that uh, puts an end and, uh, to the presidential petition. The purpose for those who framed the constitution of having the Supreme Court was to have these matters concerning the presidential election determined as quickly as possible. Initially, uh, the process was too long and therefore, uh, on my part, I'm happy that it is complete and therefore the country can move on. Uh, but fundamentally, the lessons coming from the court on the electoral process should inform the work of IABC in future, should inform the presidential contenders, should inform everybody involved that the, the, the most important process is the process happening at polling stations because that is where uh, any dispute should be resolved. That is where the, the ideally the final tally or the final count should be done. And therefore, once it has cascaded from the polling station to constituency and to either county or national, uh, it's very difficult to start reopening the processes. And therefore, now everybody is on notice that the country and the agents of presidential petitions must take the polling stations seriously. Because the mistake of our presidential agents have is to wait to go and present their grievances at BOMAS, as opposed to concentrating on the presidential processes at, uh, at the polling station. And therefore, to, to my, my coalition, ASMIO, I hope that they've learned a lesson because there was mismanagement of agents at the polling station, and therefore, uh, part of the reason we were unable to present a good case and part of the reason that the Supreme Court has affirmed the position of the polling stations is because we, we could not give uh, evidence to show anything that happened to the contrary at the polling station. But even for my case, because I participated in the law forming the integra integrated management system of our elections, I'm extremely happy that uh, for the first time since 2017, forms have been sent to the portal. That is what we wanted. That was the intention of that system, that you scan a form and send it to the IBC portal. That was it. And therefore, it has now become the, the, the norm that once results are announced at polling stations for presidential, they will put in the portal, they will be accessible to the public, and, in, and I hope in future that we, will not, we are not going to have presidential petitions because the amendment to the law which required the IBC to produce the forms three days after the petition is served was prepared by me so that then a presidential contender, once you get the forms, that should be the end of your case. If you cannot argue with the forms, then you should not have a petition before the Supreme Court. Thank you.